So I always like to do things a different way whenever I start a new project, just for the heck of it. So for one thing, we've got this motor driver, it's the L9947, which is actually bus driven, um, as in a data bus. So it's got a read-write signal on it and a strobe and everything. Uh, it does not do PWM, so it's running, um, uh, what's the word? I call it high frequency modulation. There's another name for it. I can't remember right now. Um, but uh, it basically pulses as fast as possible for that chip. Um, so it's around 3 kilohertz or something like that. Which is definitely audible as you saw in the last video. Um, this motor doesn't seem to be sensitive to it. Uh, it doesn't make any noise at all. I mean, PWM is... Oh, no, it's... All of a sudden I can hear it, <laughs> now that I said something. Anyway, so I just used a regular motor, and I had this brilliant idea to take a um, mouse, an old ball mouse, uh, and replace its uh, one of its rollers with the shaft of the motor. So, I don't know if this is focused enough, but you can see the actual disc is spinning by the motor now. Oh yeah, you can see it's spinning a little bit. Let's see, let's start back up again. There we go. Alright, and these guys, I guess, the optical um, uh, receivers or whatever are sensitive enough that uh, that they actually output a really pretty reasonable signal that you can see on the oscilloscope. And it looks like quadrature, except it's analog, so I'm debating how to do that. The obvious way would be a comparator set, you know, somewhere around midway. Um, but I also see noise on there, so that's one thing that I'm considering, and a few other things like that. But uh, it's definitely quadrature coming out of it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so I could do some precision speed and positioning and stuff like that with it. Uh, so that's probably coming up next.